Linux gamer Alpha here, and everyone likes their own Linux distro. You know, some people like uh, Fedora, Arch, or Ubuntu, or any kind of Debian. I get it. Everyone has their own different taste. You like how Fedora has DNF uh, install um, package manager with with, uh, with RPMs and RPM Fusion. Well. Arch has only RPM Fusion, and uh, GNOME, I mean, not GNOME, um, Ubuntu has uh, Debian packages and flat pack out of the box. I get it, you get it, you all like what you di all different distros. It's fine. But what if you just don't like the desktop? You want to go over and change the desktop, and you want something different. You don't want GNOME. You want Cinnamon, or XFC, or OpenBox. Technically, you can change that to a point. You see, Nabara has, like, the their official GNOME and KDE. Well, uh, Zero has... Uh, KDE, GNOME, and XFCE. There's a reason for that. They're all distros that they were tested and made sure that their patent is stable. So, if you got upset about, let's say, GNOME's a little fattening for memory, you know, you don't want something more than just less than five, and you want something a little lightweight, well, you can change that, but, and I know you don't want to go distro hopping, so you can just change the desktop. But, you should try testing this out on a virtual machine or a separate computer. Because, like I said, they didn't test it out, it may not be stable. And every time you put a, a different, a, se a, a second desktop on there, it may make the kernel a little unstable. But, I'm going to show you how to do that by using Fedora KDE. I tried to do this with um, GNOME, but it didn't really work. But, let me go show you how to do this. We're going to do the Floss website because there is the official one, but they just tell you how to in install the uh, the cinnamon desktop. But I want to go over and show you the few things you should do. First, you do open up your terminal, which I need to find. Terminal. Second, we'll just copy this here. We want to make sure it's up to date. Uh, paste. Yeah, this is a, like a, a, a fresh install on this, so I made sure everything was up to date to this, so it shouldn't be yeah, nothing to do. So make sure you have it all up to date. Next, we're gonna show you the DNF group on this. Oh, this will show you all the desktops that is on right now. Open it, please. Now this is going to go over and show you all the uh, the configurations and stuff like that. Now, this may uh, fail. It may crash the system. I don't really care. Like I said, I'm just showing you how you can do it and how to test it out. You should test any of these out on a separate computer or a, um, uh, uh, or a virtual machine. 
it should never have to do this um, on your on your uh, daily de desktop. This is gonna take a little while because it has to go through all the systems and stuff like that. But it will show you other desktops at the end of this where you can install. Wouldn't recommend it, but that you can actually install it. It's gonna go through the Fedora version, not the um, Nabara one. Now this is only taking it one slow because DNF is really slow. It's like, there it is. So as you can see, it has all the package here. But if you go up, these are the desktops you can put on here. Like custom operating right there, minimal install, Fedora server edition, workstation, cover, XFCV, XFCE desktop. Uh, and you know, all the other ones, even Sugar, I never heard of Sugar Desktop, but you know, there's a lot of desktop I am. The one I don't see is um, Open Box, but I guess you could install it. I don't know. But we're for, as we can see, we can look for where it's right here Cinnamon Desktop. You can install it. Now, let me get all the way back to down here. And now. You could copy and paste that, or, but we're gonna, you could copy and paste that, and you can just put in sudo dnf install in the cinnamon desktop environment. Just make sure you have put the A, I guess, the, there, but we're gonna copy that. Now, and we're gonna paste that here, and we're now gonna install the cinnamon desktop. Yes, we want to. This is going to take a little while because we're going to put all the GNOME and everything like that. Um, I should see how... Yeah, I should go over and HTOP see if... Uh, open up tape after the, before we uh, start that one. Because I'm going to show you, well, no, actually, no. We won't do HTOP, because HTOP is, just, if we were doing layer one, this is not even going from light to light. This is going to our mid-weight to mid-weight. And it's just, yeah. Give it a second here. Do, 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 do. Any time now. Running. It is going to take a, a minute. And then we're going to have to do a reboot. Let's see if I can show them out first. Yeah. I'm going to do a reboot. Also, when you do a reboot, uh, it is going to go right back to the KDE because that's the default. You have to go into uh, log off if you have to because if you don't have. Um, if you have it the automatic login, it will just log into the default and then you have to log off and then go into the new desktop. You don't have to keep doing it all the time. It's just the default. That's all it is. And it should be almost done. Already we're up to line 273 to 336. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just put all this stuff in there. There we go. I don't know what those skip is, but we think we got it all set. So we're going to do a reboot. We're going to type it in. Just makes things easier. Give it a second. Yes.
Yeah, oh good, oh good, it shows. Uh, where's my mouse? Oh. Oh, okay. So, hold on, I gotta make a quick adjustment for me. Just for me on, on my screen, that's all. Now, we are in the login screen with a little bit different. As you can see, it's on the Wayland. I have it set up so I don't have it automatically log in. And you can see, we got the cinnamon. Put in your password in. I might have to do adjustment on the screen, but I don't, maybe not. And we are in the cinnamon desktop, and yes, I do. Uh, let's ignore it. Yeah, it's just the. Let me make adjustment on the screen real fast, guys, and then we'll be all set. Uh, yes, I don't care. <laughs> Let's find settings. Uh, oh, display. Mirror. Always does that. Okay, fine. Um... Just is there a scale system? Um, hmm. I know, I'll just nope, make this small. How's that? I know, I'll set this as primary. Oh, okay. Close enough. Um, this is close as I'm gonna get. I don't know what this thing is, but you would see hmm, this will pop up here and you can see we are on the cinnamon desktop everything looks like it's doing good uh let's see the packet manager sorry it's a little blurry but i think i don't have it set correctly but uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There it is, Nabara Package Manager. Let's see if the Nabara Package Manager even opens. Looks like it. Wow, it is super blurry. Yeah, everything's all set. You can even install this and everything. So, yeah. There you go. You can install the Cinnamon Desktop, and you can put any desktop in it. It looks like it's stable enough you can do it, but... Um, just to make sure, you're not going to have Wayland yet. I know Cinnamon is starting to do Wayland, but it's not there yet. So, that's something you might want to suggest. If you're not into, if you're still into the, um, X, uh, um, was it X10? No. Something X. Uh, that's... Uh, Xorg or something like that, that would be, I think that's what's the Xorg desktop, then they're fine. But you need Wayland, this ain't gonna work for you. Uh, maybe you can find some other lightweight desktop that you can use Wayland, but as of right now, this is all I'm gonna do today. If I show you guys that, um, like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time.
Oh, right there it goes. Goodbye.